Hello everyone, it's Eddie here. Today we're going to talk about how to draw a graph on the TI-84 calculator. And just before we start drawing, if you haven't uh, if you haven't done so already, we're going to clear the memory and that is because if we don't clear the memory, um, some of the settings of the graphs might be uh, altered and we don't really want that so clear the memory if you don't know how to do it well I just showed you but um, I have the video before this which is um, called how to clear your memory so do that and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the Y equals button on your calculator on the top left and what that allows you to do is you can now enter an equation okay so for example if I want to graph y equals uh, 2x plus 1 I can just type in 2 now this button actually means x so 2x plus 1 and if you press enter and if you press the graph button you can see the graph now if for some reason you wanted to draw another graph or you wanted to change the equation of this graph you can go back to y equals and you can simply change the equation now the negative button is actually this button here so um, make sure you use the right button so let's say I want negative 3 uh, x and let's do minus or let's do plus 3 and you graph it and there's our equation. Now the next thing I want to talk about is changing the viewing window. So if you press the window button here, you can see that you can set the minimum x coordinate, the maximum x coordinate and the scale of the x axis. So what that scale value means is between each one of these dots, what is the value so it's going right now from 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on so let's try um, let's try going window and let's try going negative 20 to 20 so from uh, so the x-axis is going to go from negative 20 to 20 and the y-axis let's go from negative 20 to 20 again and let's see what happens so if you click graph you can see there are now a lot more dots okay because my scale uh, x scale value is uh, still set to 1 so then there would be 20 dots from here to negative 20 and 20 dots from the middle to positive 20 and so on so just to verify that um, the graph is going up to positive 20 if you press the trace button and now what's going to happen is you can now press the left and the right arrow keys and it's going to trace along this line and tell you the coordinates of the point on the line where your cursor is okay so right in the middle we got x when x is 0 y is equal to 3 if you go all the way to the left it's got x is negative 5.5 y is 19 which verifies that the top is about um, 20 and the bottom is about negative 20 for the y coordinates now let's say for some reason you wanted to zoom into a particular section of the graph so let's say I want to zoom into here then what you can do is you can press zoom and you can choose zoom in and then you can press enter again where you want to zoom in so let's say I want to zoom in to this area here press enter and it will zoom in into that area so if you press trace again uh, you can zoom in into that area which is very helpful now you can zoom out so zoom out press enter press enter on where you want to zoom out so let's say I want to zoom out about here press enter again you've zoomed out now let's say I want to go back to the standard grid where we have negative 20 to positive 
sorry, negative 10 to positive 10 for both X and Y, what you would do is you would click Zoom and choose Zoom Standard and that will go back to the viewing window of negative 10 to positive 10 so you can click window again to see that it is indeed what you want so yeah that's about it there are a lot of different uh, things you can play with so try it out um, I guess another thing you can try is changing the format of the graph so second zoom and then for example you can turn on the grid so press grid uh, turn it on and try the graph again and you can see we now have grids so yeah that's pretty cool okay um, yeah so that gives you some idea of how to draw a graph on your graphics calculator um, thanks for watching guys see you next time